Hi everyone, Linda here. I found these two old windows at a garage sale. I decorated them up with tumbled glass, stained glass, and epoxy resin. If you want to find out how I did it, watch the video. I hope you enjoy it. About a month ago, I found a couple old windows at a garage sale for $5 each. I brought them home, sanded them down, cleaned them up, and because they still were kind of a yellow color, I decided to paint them with DIY chalk paint to brighten them up a little bit. Now, because I do like the distressed look, after they dried, I decided to um, go ahead and sand them down a little bit in some of the areas that the paint was already chippy. Then I had to go ahead and clean it up all over again, of course. This is Sam, my little helper. He's 11. So I start by laying out the individual colors one at a time to make the petals. I use stained glass for all of the stems in this project. And I made those by just cutting strips and then I tumbled them in my MJR tumbler, which is quite a large tumbler. And that was the only thing that I put into the tumbler was that and none of them broke. I was really surprised. The tumbler makes the stained glass nice and smooth. And I just continue by um, doing it color by color making the different flower petals. Sometimes it takes me up to a couple days and you'll see little jewelry pieces inside of um, the flowers. I collect jewelry from garage sales and Goodwill. Try to get them as uh, inexpensive as I can. And I think they add a really nice touch to the flowers. The majority of the glass that I get is from garage sales and Goodwill. And it's a lot of it is depression glass. They made the bright colors years and years ago. They still make glass like that, but a lot of it is um, sprayed on. And when you tumble it, the color comes out. So the older glass is has the color all the way through the glass and when you tumble it, it um, stays the same color as before you tumbled it. So here I'm going through the smaller pieces of glass to find some colorful pieces to make some butterflies to stick in between the flowers. I'm also going through the jewelry to add some finishing touches to the center of the flowers. So one of the things that you need to do when you pour resin onto glass is to be sure that you've sealed up the edges so that none leaks through. A lot of times I use um, caulk and after that dries, I'll put an extra layer of painter's tape. In this instance, the windows did have some caulk around them, so I decided just to use the painter's tape and really I should have done it before I put the glass on. It would have made it a lot easier by just flipping the glass over and doing it that way. But here I am playing catch up, putting it underneath, which makes it a little bit more difficult trying to balance the glass. At the last minute, I decided to change out the bright blue for a different color blue. And then after that, I went through my greens to add some leaves to the flowers. Thank you. 
So now we're ready for the resin. The resin that I use is called Total Boat Resin. There are tons of different resins out there that you can use. You just need to read the label to make sure you're purchasing the correct one. With this Total Boat Resin, it, if you're doing it by measurement, it would be one half cup to one half cup. It's equal parts. But if you're doing it by weight, it's one part, part A, to 0.8 parts, part B, which is the hardener. You have to be wearing uh, gloves. It's real important to wear gloves, a mask or a respirator. You should always have rubbing alcohol on hand. That'll clean it up from any surfaces. Stir it for two to three minutes, scraping the sides and the bottom of the container. The slower you stir it, the less bubbles you'll get. I remove the flowers from each of the window panes and set them next to them, kind of like how they'll go back into the panes. And then I pour on the resin. This is a very thick resin, so it really has to be spread out and make sure you get it in all the corners. Now, if you were to miss a corner, you can always come back later after it's dried and pour a little bit more in. Sometimes it's hard to see. Sometimes I've missed some spots without wearing glasses. Next, you have to blow the bubbles out. I say blow them out, but I think it's really the heat that helps the bubbles dissipate. I have a heat gun that I use and I put it to, there's two uh, levels of pressure that it can put out, low and high, and I always use the low setting because especially if you're using um, something with lower edges, it can actually push the resin up over the edges and you really don't want the resin on the edges. But if you do get it on the edges like I have before, you can use alcohol to wipe it off. Just clean it up before it's all dried out. I'll put the heat gun between five and 600 degrees and you'll see the little air bubbles slowly dissipate and the resin will become clearer. And then you're ready to put your glass back on. Be sure to do this on a flat surface because they will shift if it's not. And many times you have to go back and rearrange them. So when they're done, make sure you lay them on a flat surface. They need to dry overnight between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit to cure properly. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.